students welcome to my channel i nilam and here today i am going to teach you here physical education unit 7 chapter is physiological factors determining components of physical fitness in my earlier videos i have taught you about endurance so these all factors here determine endurance part of physical fitness endurance so which factors affect here determine or sorry determine endurance aerobic capacity number 2 lactic acid tolerance muscle composition economy of movement energy reserves and or adequate fuel provision and these factors determine strength strength is determined by all these factors number one type of muscle fiber size of the muscle body weight limb length point of tendon insertion neural efficiency intensity of nerve impulse length of muscle age and gender then i have also taught you ki these factors determine speed for physical fitness so speed is determined by all these factors mobility of nervous system composition of the muscle and Dosage strength, flexibility, body fat, and orbit capacity. I have taught in my previous video this topic here. The all these factors determine speed. Which factors? Mobility of nervous system, composition of the muscle, explosive strength, flexibility, body fat, and orbit capacity. biochemical reserves and metabolic power today i am going to teach you ki which factors determine flexibility for physical fitness here so flexibility is determined by these factors here muscle strength first is muscle strength so first of all i will tell you about flexibility what is flexibility flexibility can be defined as range of movement of joints or the maximum range of motion of a joint that is possible without undue strain so physio physiological factors that determine flexibility are first it is muscle strength muscle strength determine what flexibility in order to work out properly and at least at least needs to utilize full range of motion this becomes increasingly difficult if the muscles are tight if muscles are tight the tightness can be overcome the tightness of the muscles can be overcome by stretching the muscles along with flexibility exercises muscle weakness can also prevent the full range of motion and contribute in decreasing flexibility so muscle strength that determine flexibility next is joint structure number 2 joint structure there are different types of joints in the human body some have greater range of motion than others for example the ball the ball and socket joint of the shoulder has the greatest range of motion of all the joints and can move in each of the 
anatomical planes therefore structure of joints affects flexibility so we can say the joint structure also determine flexibility affects the flexibility i have told you one of the example of a the bar uh, here the ball and socket joint of the shoulder it has the greatest range of motion of all the joints and can move in each of the anatomical planes then third it is age and gender age and gender also determine flexibility range of motion i have told you ki age and gender also affect flexibility determine flexibility so range of motion and flexibility decreases with advancement of age children has their children have more flexibility than adults chote bachche dekhte ho na aap kitni flexibility hoti hai unme they are too much flexible than adults and second thing gender males or females males or females genders also affect flexibility we know ki females tend to be more flexible than males then comes connective tissue number 4 connective tissues deep connective tissue such as fascia and tendons can limit range of motion i would like to tell you what is fascia it is a thin casing of thin casing of connective tissue that surrounds and holds every organ blood vessel bone nerve fiber and muscle in place and tendon tendon is flexible but in elastic cord of strong fibrous collagen tissue attaching a muscle to a bone this is tendon so deep connective tissue such as fascia and tendons can limit range of motion ligaments don't seem to display any here any elastic properties however with exposure to stretching they may extend to a new length so connective tissue also determine what flexibility flexibility then next it is number 5 it is previous injury previous injury also determine flexibility injuries to muscles and connective tissues can lead to a thickening on the affected area which further decreases the flexibility of the person so we can say ki injuries of the muscles and connective tissue can lead to a thickening on the affected area which further decreases the flexibility of the person okay so this is about physiological factors determining components of physical fitness today you have studies ki how flexibility is determined by all these factor first is muscle strength second is joint structure age and gender number 4 connective tissues previous injuries all these determine flexibility so you will learn all these physiological factors 
determining components of physical fitness and we will prepare notes of this question and in our next video I will try to teach you the effect of exercise on cardio respiratory system. What are the effects of exercise on cardio respiratory system and your work is you will read pages 225 225 to 230 pages this is your homework and try to prepare no you will read pages 225 to 230 of unit 7 unit 7 okay And whatever is being taught, try to watch the videos regularly and prepare notes and learn your work also. Thank you. And stay alert, stay healthy, mask yourself, take proper care. Okay, thank you. God bless you.